welcome back to another video ladies and gentlemen so last video was heading towards well pretty much straight ahead so uh, let's jump into it shall thank we? you thank you so much i oh, know if you let them talk they won't stop artyom we are in position awaiting orders Oh, sh Those snitch. Shit! Need a reload! You need more than that by the time I'm done with you. Oh, shit. Oh, you heard his body hit the uh, that was so cool. You bitch! Give a fucking grenade! Yeah. I got you. Wait, let me get in front of someone to eat some down there. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. Ah, these devils called me on my way to the house of the fish. I had dependence from my father, Celandias, and. So I got about halfway, and then this got me. Uh, oh, I, I see you're one of the heretics. But I tell you anyway, there is a cash here on this island. There is a device, but we can use it. It's a sin, but you could. I'll just have some rest here before I go back. I'll keep praying for you to the starfish for the rest of my life. It might save your soul. Thank you, dude. Have a good one. Did they add that to my map? Yeah, I think it's the island there in the middle. Dude, the sound in this game is incredible. I can hear everything. Quite scary, actually. Uh, 
I don't see no guitar, bro. Wait, hold on. See that zip line? the food on the oh sorry boys you know sorry to come in here and just kill you all like that oh just what this uh i take those See that? them on the ice. Yeah. 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 
Yes, yes. You made it. I was worried sick while you were running around in that terminal. Yermak said you brought the sleeper carriage. You are simply the best. Sorry I'm talking so much, but I missed you. Okay, okay, back to business. <clears throat> Damned cough. I guess I spent too much time in that dump. So, they have more guards than we anticipated. It seems risky, but Crest says such caravans are usually commanded by a captain. So if we capture him, the others will surrender. They have about 15 guards. Tugboat ladder, sentries at the pier. Sam will take the right flank. Come in, Sam. I'm in position. I can see a guard. Duke is to the left of the hangar. Come in. Duke in position, ready to pick the guard off. Idiot is on the far crane. Ready for action. Got a mark on everyone on the pier. Crest has scouted out the basement. There's only two of them here. Busy repairing something, so... This seems to be the best spot for quite a thing. Well, Artyom, we're all set. You managed to get out of the church quietly, so let's make this one the same. Yeah, it's no fun beating up immature soldiers like them. Cut the chatter. All right, Artyom, you're in charge. You call the shots. Perhaps we should wait for dusk. It might be easier then. Some of the guards might fall asleep. Some of the guards might fall asleep. I could agree. rest here in the cabin in the meantime. Uh, <laughs> I'm get some rest. Hit them at a later time. Oh, but I've already jumped down though. So what are you trying to tell me now? Go, go. Oh, the cabin's up there now.
It's not night time. The rules to the lake, darn it. Do I know you? Oh, it's you. Oh my god. Surrendered. That's it! I surrendered! I won't kill him. 
Giving them combos. Huh? Way anchor. We're gonna go about halfway there, then wait in the reeds until about four o'clock. We want to get there early in the morning when the fog is the thickest and they are sleepy after the morning prayer. Artyomich, Duke, we're on final approach. There. See that fire at the very top? That's the control post. What well, used to be anyway. Now it's a shrine, Belief. Closer to God at the top, you see. <laughs> That's where you have to go. I'll distract the guards now. Sure! Catch the line! Ready! Hey, sailor! What did you do to your barge? What you gonna sell now? <laughs> Whoa! You're so funny! Jackass, bled. So, Artyom, shall we move? Man? Whoever gets there first wins! Break a leg! For the uh, but it's so early. Just tell me what he said. Uh, all right. Well, a heretic guy fully arrived right at the ceremony. Just like it was foretold. They rang the bell, so our guys took the boats, went there and searched the place. <laughs> Not to mention that Katia and her wits. He escaped from the confusion. There's a rumor that people saw her with the heretics. So you think they might attack? Uh, who knows? They are heretics. May the Zarfish devour them. Yeah, they only have murder in their minds, those heathens. You see, Simon never came back. Holy people like you never come back. And heathens are worse than demons. It's all in God's hands. That is true. His will be done. Don't 
you worry so much? Well, I just can't... The Four Eyes didn't come back, God save his soul. And he didn't even go out to fight a demon. Well, you know what? You know, I've been thinking now. You what do those heretics want to do in a month if anybody nah, returned from a trip to the house of the fish? To the other side, that's all. As if people returned from demon-killing trips a lot. Hey, well, God. how about I come with you? That we'll do it together for sure. For Don't even she think went. about it. I'll handle Where? this myself. Where we are not. Just tell me to... <laughs> 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 Find him and punish him for his sins! Prepare yourself, you scum! Not even diligent prayer and confessing your sins would save you now! I think that is... Oh, 
chosen one among them who goes by the name Hamitilantius. And so speaketh the Lord. I will be with you and will keep you safe, provided you are true in your devotion. Provided you reject satanic technology. We reject. And even more so, do you reject Satan's deception? That thing they call electric current. The curse is with the enemy came to the fools, so that they would fancy themselves above reproach, above God, and more powerful than him. We reject! Amen, my children! For the electric current, his faith and temptation, and his poison! Only those who reject electricity will be allowed into the kingdom of God! Only those who remain unsalvaged will be left through by the starfish! Glory to the fish! So let us not fear the heretics at our door. The ones who would attack our cloister. Even with their iron sticks. So you got me, you damned heretics. You took Katya, and now you have me. Damn, you are quicker to them. Look up, man. We're just passing through. Let us through peacefully. Our guys won't shoot, or this place is going bye-bye. And Katya, you don't have to worry about her anymore. Stop deceiving, Katya. You must pray to the Lord for forgiveness. But for murdering my children, the children of God, you will burn in hell until the end of days. Sound the alarm! Heretics! Judge them! The dumbass! Damn, I've been hit! Aurora! Full steam ahead! Do you copy? Artem, get away! I'll take it from here! Artem, jump! We left Volga behind. The endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now. Regretfully, Duke was not destined to see them. Was his death a fault of mine? Was everything that happened on the bridge? It could be. It's a cruel world that we live in, and it's not our responsibility to fix it. We only wanted to pass through, and it was not my fault they screamed for blood. Their zealousness reminded me of the Metro, where people are indoctrinated into a lie. That the world is dead and there's nowhere to go. Anyone who questions it gets fed a different lie, that the war is still going on. Here it's, electricity is a sin. Same difference, really. Artyom. Artyom. Wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the colonel wants you on the bridge. See you later. Come on, wake up. I'm so sorry about Duke. He was just a boy, really. He kept asking me for advice on how to become more attractive to a girl he knew. 
What to say to her? He couldn't wait to come back to her, proudly wearing scars and medals. Stay here for a bit, Artyom. This is great. I wish I could stay like this forever. Artyom, when you climbed those ruins back in Moscow, or with your radio, did you imagine our life on the surface at all? A home, for one. A place where we could live. A log cabin on the outskirts of a forest. Or how about a bungalow on an ocean shore? Well, you know, there's something great in simply going anywhere like this. Together. Through the abandoned stations, the ruins, the wasteland. Especially in our own private compartment. Thinking back, isn't this our honeymoon trip? <laughs> it certainly feels like one, even though it's a bit late. We've only had some honeymoon sorties at best so far. Alyosha keeps telling everyone Duke could have jumped off the bridge in time. The others are also holding well, but I... I just unraveled. Of course, I had friends die before. He wasn't looking for death, Duke. He did volunteer for the most dangerous missions, but didn't expect to die. He was looking up to Stepan. Dad. You. Especially you. And he didn't die for nothing, did he? He wanted us to get there, to Yamantau. He wanted us to tell them about Moscow. How we survived there and still haven't given up. How we've been hiding it for so long. But when I think of it being you, and not even knowing for sure, I'd never be able to live through it. So, you think I should just let it all out? I don't think that would make me feel better. I've been thinking, back home, we buried our friends at home, and avenged them at home. That home and life there sucked. We were kept there with chains, no, even worse, with lies. And now we are looking for a new home. But here, it's someone else's home, and we are not invited. Right. I've got to get myself under control. Go. Dad wanted to see you. So, what would happen if I sit back down? It's like living in a fairy tale. A prince has rescued his princess from a monster-infested dungeon and is taking her to his magic kingdom where they are going to live happily ever after. Do you think we're going to find that kingdom in the end? Though, if it's with you, I'll be fine anywhere. <coughs> live happily ever after is the most important part as far as I'm concerned. Leaving already? Well, 
Go get them, Tiger. Alright, well, uh, guess we'll wrap that one. Watch out. Uncle Tom, Uncle Tom, Uncle Doctor has already set his shop up. Wanna go look? It's so cool. Here, Uncle Tom. Ah, hi, Artyom. See my new place? Fit for a king, I must say. Ah, what do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach, yet there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this, too. Looks like we're facing a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits, but I'll have to, and soon. Well, it's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know. Duke's plate carrier didn't hold the back plate anymore. And he... Well, he just kept joking about it. <clears throat> what was I? Well, I'll be working here from now on. Well, that's it. I bragged enough and won't waste any more of your time. The Colonel summoned you. Well, I have stuff to do too. You guys are fast to break gear, but none too expedient to fix it. Uncle Dokarev! Uncle Dokarev! Oh, a smoke break! That's good. Oh, this is one mean smoke. Damn, this is rough. Well, <clears throat> nothing we couldn't take. <clears throat> well, you are the right kind of guys. I mean, you, the Colonel, Duke, that guy did a swell job on that bridge. He was a great guy. May he rest in peace, yeah. So, uh, yeah, what did I want to say? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, thank you. You you people accepted me, and and I, uh, I'm a simple guy. I, I I will pay that debt back. Okay. So, how do you like it out here after your tunnels? Freedom, huh? Sure thing. So much space. It feels too empty to me though. Just reeds and ruins and those damn mutants. Hate them. Now you guys are gonna see the government. So, Bratuha, don't be mad, but just tell me, what the hell do you even need them for? Well, of course, it might be interesting to take a look, but throughout all of my rambling, I only met two kinds of ex-government people. <laughs> Dead ones and gang leaders. And let me tell you, the latter are much worse than your typical bandit. They just have to make a speech before doing something off. So what I mean, I, I didn't really care about the government even before the war, much less now, when everything's long since gone to shit. So what for, really? I'm a simple man, Artyomich. I told I'm with you, that means I'm with you for the long haul. But I'd much rather find a nice place to live at than go see the government. Of course, they could give us luxury bunkers or something. Well, I too. You seem cold. Go get warmed up a bit. I'll smoke some more. I have stuff to think about. Or just stay. <laughs> we have enough space now. Machine. No, I don't. 
Artyom, come on in and have a seat. Stepan's putting on a live performance here. So, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up. Thank you, Stepan. I'm sorry to ask, Katya, but Nastya's father. He's dead, isn't he? Does Nastya know? He is. I tried keeping it a secret. Told her he left for the market. Around three days passed, and I still kept it in. I just sat there with a needle in my hand and didn't see anything. It was all black before my eyes. And then she snuggles up to me and says, You should cry, Ma. You will feel better. Sini used to say it. So I cried and cried. She knows. She knows it all. I'm sorry, Katya. I'm so sorry. Let me tell you how we ended up at the bridge. We used to live in northeast from here, quite close if you go in a straight line. But it took us a month. Everything's bomb to rubble out there. Yermak asked me and I told him. Sini used to say there were lots of military factories out there. Not just military, of course. General industry. And now you can't pass through there even with filters. The radiation is so high. No railway either, just crater upon crater. We were quite far, but our counter still went crazy. One route appeared intact. There was nothing to bomb. So we used that one, thinking we'd get further to the west, but... But of course they did not let us cross the bridge with the diesel. They said it was satanic. They were ready to let us stay if we gave them the diesel to cleanse it. So we stayed. And then, we couldn't leave, even if we wanted. That old goat, Father Silentius, brainwashed everyone, so they would just pray and bow non-stop. They broke our diesel down with their bare hands and threw it into the river. Purification. And on top of it, they gave us trouble for not helping them. Senia went to check what was going on, and there were only locals there. Because Silentius at the Skatina had sent our people away to test them. He said that if they wanted to be truly accepted, they had to defeat a demon. Senia went to stop them. But it was too late. He only found burnt rags. And then they sent him to do the same. He never came back. Katya, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. Well, you really didn't. What's done is done. <clears throat> <sighs> it kind of got so glum in here. Mm. Perhaps you, Stepan, could play us something. Sure thing! Well, guys, the Duke's memory. Look, stop with this funeral mood! It is Duke we are talking about. Do you recall how hey, he came Artyom, back from the The colonel's library? waiting for you on the bridge. Same thing here! Well, yeah, that time he pulled a fast one on us. We had the drinks ready. Sam said everything. Was a good speech, too. Thanks. Well, that is true. Don't be shy. So, Sam ends his speech, and then Duke asks, Where's my drink? <laughs> <laughs> So that is why I say we should wait. He came back from that library. 
And this, this is nothing. We will pick him up on our way back. If we leave to go back. Thank you so oh, come on. Well, I just think we should still drink to Duke's memory. And if he's alive, that's only a good omen. Sam, what do you say? I'll drink later. Gotta finish cooking. Okay. Let's drink! Alright, let's! <coughs> oh, it's rough! <coughs> <laughs> yeah. Kinda rough. By the way, speaking of omens, let's have a service for him once we come across another church. Bill didn't believe in having met Salantius. I'm also wavering. Well, Salantius God is definitely a lost cause. But I imagine Duke would like Valhalla. A paradise where fallen heroes spend eternity feasting and fighting. A good fit for all of the people we lost. Yes, this is worth having another drink for. To our guys having fun in Valhalla! Ah. Huh. <sighs> uh, guys, there's something I've been thinking about. What does everyone expect of this trip? Duke used to say that he just couldn't spread his wings back home. He was too eager to win that girl over with heroics. He thought that outside he'd have space for that. And why did you come? Well, my heart is aching for true romance. But in the Metro, all women want a solid relationship, a reliable husband, a real provider. <laughs> Enough of that smug smile. It's unbearable. Not that I've had much better luck here so far. As soon as Katia came aboard, Stefan started cooling around her like a peacock. 